Good evening. So I hope you are all well. And uh, a bit of an apology for not making a video for a while. I've had COVID and um, I've just been so ill. I was in bed for about four days. I'm over it now, you know, about a week ago. I'm sort of finally over it. But um, yeah, I couldn't even read a book. I could not even, you know, get out of bed for literally nearly a week. And, um, you know, basically it was just a really brutal flu and um, I haven't had that for about 15 years. So apologies there, but something good has come out of it. And by the, you know, subject of this video, you can probably tell that I have managed to acquire a 1817 half sovereign, which I'm really pleased about. And um, yeah, this... Uh, Took a little bit of getting uh, hold of, but I've got it. And then, really, I've had you know all this time in bed thinking about you know investing in precious metals. And uh, I was already building up to this, you know, before I got ill. But let's actually get it out. It's not going to hurt. Um, <clears throat> I've actually been thinking about the fact that I do really want to. I probably definitely need to buy more numismatic coins. Um, I did have a thing going where I was, you know, I was pretty happy to have bullion and a small percentage of numismatic, most, and then split the rest between sort of semi and bullion, uh, bullion semi numismatic coins and bullion. But really now, I think I'm beginning to get a bit of a um, a bug for things like this because things like this just don't exist in the world that much more I mean I look, had a look around the, the mintage for these was something like uh, just two million this is over 200 years ago and looked into it a bit and God knows how many have been melted down lost um, it must be well under a million left I mean maybe just thousands left which is incredible really so um, this I picked up um, I would say the condition is probably fine maybe maybe XF I mean it's a little bit worn on his head there you can see it's it's not bad the details are pretty good um, it's not it's not the best coin but I mean you know something this old and apparently these coins these half sovereigns were actually used a, a lot so it's actually very hard to come by a really really good condition one in actual fact a, a proof half sovereign when I was researching is twelve thousand pounds and that's old that's how rare they are twelve thousand I mean that's probably twenty thousand dollars now maybe if you can find one so yeah this is what I'm interested in now and I'm going to probably uh, try and up the percentage of um, things like this in my portfolio as opposed to uh, you know it just being a tiny amount I really do see that if you can get a reasonable price on these that the downside is is um, very minimal really because there's always somebody who wants wants these things to collect you know um, so you don't know apparently you know the story goes there was the guinea and then this is the first the 1817 full sovereign is the first modern sovereign and then there was the well, see, it was a half sovereign um so that's what's kind of historic and i picked up um at the same time this um i mean it's it's not it's kind of not really relevant but it kind of is i suppose i got a an 18 a 2017 half sovereign which uh, and it's a completely different design obviously um, it's still a lovely little coin so you know what we can say here is uh, we've got two coins that are essentially 200 years apart um, 
and that's uh, just quite cool I think really I don't know um, obviously you know the um, Struki sovereign full sovereign and you can get half what design it's kind of more in keeping I suppose with the, with the times when th when this 18 sovereign was produced this is obviously just a modern sovereign here but uh, you know um, so yeah the plan now is I would like to acquire a full 1817 sovereign and obviously try and get hold of the 1817 proof sovereign as well full uh, the 200 year commemorative, com commemorative one um, and that would be quite nice you know and uh, you know we just keep going and you know obviously the holy grail will be something like getting hold of a um, an 1819 sovereign which has got a mintage of only about 3,500 odd um, obviously we're, we're talking mega bucks probably and the 1820 half sovereign only had 35,000 minted so again that will be something to uh, I mean it's probably just going to be mega bucks but so yeah let me know what you think whether you know I did pay a bit of a premium on this half sovereign um, you know to be fair it wasn't you know too horrific but um, I, I you know I just kind of think that we, we just need to mix it up a bit so I should be having uh, probably a maybe 25% of my portfolio now is going to be more of this numismatic type of coin and then probably 50% will be semi-numismatic coins and then the rest will probably be bullion um, there's nothing wrong with bullion um, I just want to try and uh, you know I, th I think these sort of historic coins just really do looking around on eBay auction sites just other YouTube channels they just seem to just um, really do hold their price as well and, and I think they're a good long-term investment you know very good and you're owning a piece of history so anyway that's it from me um, give us a thumbs up and do it subscribe it really helps me out and um, leave any comments or questions and I'll see you soon